Hey everybody, today we have another laptop for repair. This is a Lenovo Legion 5. The exact model number is Lenovo Legion 5 Pro 16 ACH 6H. The laptop is turning on but has no image on the screen. Let me quickly verify this. As you can see, keyboard backlight is on. Let's connect our initializing tester. Nothing. No any reaction to caps lock also. I also noticed uh, there's some small crack here in this area. As you can see. I don't know if it's related to our issue or not, but we're gonna see. Okay. I guess that's it. We can switch it off. Okay, now it's off. And take off the back cover. So I'm planning to use our uh, voltage tester, which we can insert in the memory slot. It can also show us if the CPU is reading the SPD from the memory. Okay, the back cover is off. We can take off this thingy. And turn it on and see what kind of voltages we have. We have VDD 1.2, uh, VPP 2.5 and VTT uh, 0.6 and also we have, as you can see, address code 52, uh, which means uh, the CPU is reading the SPD from the memory, which is a good news. So uh, what we can do now, we can turn it on again, is it off, yes. And Right, another way around. So, same voltages here. And we have a picture. Okay, I have the explanation for this. Uh, this is a common issue and it has nothing uh, to do with the slot itself. There's probably bad contact uh, under the CPU to PCB board. The reason for this is uh, the evil uh, black compound, which is... Uh, used by Lenovo under all BGA chips. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to deal with this kind of issue and how to remove the CPU properly. The laptop is now off. The next step is to take the motherboard out and prepare it for the soldering process. Heatsink is off. Uh, what I can see now is uh, that the customer already tried to replace the thermal paste. From the factory there's supposed to be the PPM 7950 or maybe some another phase change thermal paste but he just put the regular paste which is not correct but we're gonna fix this later we also can see here it's not properly aligned let's remove the warranty sticker very carefully okay the warranty sticker Right, the board is uh, prepared for the desoldering process. We have to put some heatsink on the GPU and the video memory also, so it's not uh, getting so hot, so black underfill can expose and short the solder together under the core. We don't want this to happen. Now we are going to lift the core uh, with the help of this tool. We have to wait till we reach the melting temperature of non-leaded solder which is around 227 degrees Celsius. Okay, now we can try. Yes. Okay, that's it. That's it. All right, the CPU is successfully removed from the board. Let's take a closer look. Okay, no any repairs. So this is the black glue under the CPU. We have to remove it and reball the chip and solder it back to the board.
Right, so the CPU uh, reballing has been finished. The CPU is already soldered back to the board. And we can take some measurements to verify that everything is fine. Let's measure the core of the GPU. 0 0.3. The video memory. 107, which is completely normal. The V core of the CPU. It's Ryzen 5, uh, 5600H. 4.7 ohms on the core, which is okay. Integrated graphics, supposed to be 10 ohms, also fine. Okay, we are good to go. We can assemble the laptop back together and see the results. All right, so the laptop is already assembled together and everything is working. So, as you can see, both of the memories are working. On the CPU and GPU I applied uh, this phase change thermal paste from Honeywell PTM7950 which is doing the job very well and uh, I, I guess that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye bye.